Hey guys, this is a video on computing the time complexity of a code fragment using summations. So here, yeah, let's start off. It says for the following code fragment, compute the worst case asymptotic complexity as a function of n, where loop body is a constant number of lines. So here's our code fragment in the square, and it runs from, or the outer loop here, runs from i equals zero, and it runs while i is less than or equal to n minus one, and i increments by one each time, denoted by the i plus plus. And then within this outer loop, we have an inner loop, and it runs from j equals i plus one, and j is gonna run while it's less than or equal to n minus one, and j also increments by one, denoted by j plus plus. And then within that loop is the loop body, which is a constant number of lines. So let's get started here. So first off, we want to rewrite the outer loop as a summation. So it runs from i equals 0 to n minus 1 because it can be less than or equal to. So it can go up to n minus 1. And then we have an inner loop there, and it runs from j. So we have an inner loop. Let me put that here as a summation. And it runs from j equals i plus 1. So j equals i plus 1 to n minus 1. So n minus 1. And inside that we have our so-called loop body. Now again, I said a loop body is just a constant number of lines. So we're gonna choose a constant for this loop body. And the constant I'm gonna choose is one. Okay, now we wanna simplify this because we can solve this here uh, to summations, then we can figure out the asymptotic worst case complexity. So first I'm going to solve the inner loop, and in order to do that, we have to know something. So I'm going to put a note here. So we're going to note that the summation from i equals m, which m is just some constant, to n of 1 is equal to n minus m uh, plus 1. Okay. That's one of the formulas for summations. So now we're going to start writing our equation. First, I'm going to rewrite the outer loop summation, which runs from i equals 0 to n minus 1. And inside here, that's where our inner, uh, our inner loop, or inner summation in this case, will be. I'm going to close it here. And now let's try to figure out how this formula relates to this inner solution, uh, uh, inner summation. So our n is equal to n minus 1. So we have n minus 1 minus our m is i plus 1. So i plus 1. And then we have to add in that 1 there. So plus 1. I'm just going to slightly rewrite that there. So you can see it very clearly. So that's a 1 there. Okay, and again, this n minus 1 refers to this n, this i plus 1 refers to the m, and the 1 refers to the 1. All right, so now we're going to just try to simplify this a little bit more. So I'm going to rewrite the outer summation. And we're going to uh, start simplifying within this summation here. So we have n minus 1 minus i minus 1 plus 1. And if we rewrite that again, from i equals 0 to n minus 1, we see that the uh, minus 1 and the plus 1 can cancel out. So now we get n minus 1 minus i, okay, and now using the um, laws of summation, we get to rewrite the equation like so, from i equals 0 to n minus 1 of n minus summation from i equals 0 to n minus 1 
of one minus the summation from i equals zero to n minus one of i, okay? So now another thing to note, I'm gonna erase this previous note up here. Okay. Another thing to note is that the summation from i equals zero to n of i is equal to the summation from i equals one of n to i. Alrighty, so let's rewrite this again now. So here we get n times n, so we get n squared minus, we get n here, minus, well we said that this summation is equal to that there. So let's rewrite it like that. Summation from i equals one to uh, n minus one of i. And now let's rewrite this one more time. n squared minus n minus, there's a formula here for i. I'll put that here as well. It's n times n plus one divided by two. So here we go and use that same formula. We replace n for n minus one. And so we get n minus one times n divided by two. All right, looks like I'm running out of space. So I'm gonna start erasing. Okay, so we're gonna start back from the top here. So I'm gonna rewrite the equation down below. So we have n squared minus n minus n minus one times n divided by two. Okay. I'll simplify this a little bit more. n squared minus n uh, minus n squared minus n divided by two. Okay. So now we're gonna keep simplifying. So we get, uh, oh, we get two n squared minus two n divided by two minus n squared minus n divided by two. And this gives us two n squared minus n squared minus two n plus n divided by two. And this finally gives us a solution that looks a little better. And it gives us n squared minus n divided by two. So that means that our code fragment runs in theta n squared time. And the reason why it's n squared and not n is because n squared grows faster than n. So thank you guys and please subscribe, leave comments. Uh, let me know if I made any mistakes in the calculations here and see you guys in the next video.